we've been asked even today we're have been asked to declare a shelter crisis so it makes it easier to put people in county buildings or areas i'm not seeing that anywhere in this presentation so can you tell me how that fits into this thank you i understand what you're asking uh i think so um so i understand that there's been some um attention to um the declaration of a shelter crisis and and sort of figuring out what those next steps might be um anything that isn't supporting pathways to housing is not going to reduce the size of your homeless population so um i don't know if this is going to answer your question exactly and help please let me know if it doesn't i, I want to answer your question um whenever shelter is a, especially emergency shelter is a very delicate um, issue in my mind because on the one hand people die outside and they that happens all the time homeless people die outside and they die uh, for lots of reasons um, but if they weren't outside in many cases they wouldn't they wouldn't have died right so it is uh, providing adequate emergency shelter is a really important issue and I and I don't mean to um, downgrade or demean that in any way at the same time if your objective as a community is to reduce homelessness then spending a lot of time and especially time and resources on trying to respond to provide more shelter in the hopes that your unsheltered population is going to come inside is likely to to be a distraction from the actual solutions which are to provide housing so in general what we see is that people uh, communities many times will will be um, there's there's such an urgency on um, and everybody feels it regardless of what the motivation is there's a real urgency to deal with the issue and so um, I would say responding at a crisis, you know that this is, this is a crisis at a crisis level in opening shelters is where we really started in the 80s. And what we've learned from the data that we've collected over the last 10 or 15 years um, and really looked at to figure out well, what actually works to reduce homelessness and get people housed to solve the, the actual problem um, is to provide pathways to housing for people. And so um, having a housing first approach really is about uh, focusing on getting people into housing and building those pathways to get people into housing and those interventions um, so that so that everybody can have a safe place to be and the community isn't experiencing um, the kind of um, visible uh, you know, miserable unsheltered homeless popu population that that you seem to have <laughs> 